Have you ever pondered over the complex process of uranium extraction and its diverse array of applications? Let's unravel the intriguing journey of uranium extraction explained in this video. The first step in the process, as the video will explain, is mining. Typically, uranium is mined from great depths using conventional mining techniques. The dug-up ore then finds its way to a processing unit. The ore undergoes a series of crushing and grinding processes, transforming it a fine powder to liberate the uranium minerals. Following this, we have the leaching phase. Here, the powdered ore merges with water and a unique solution that has the ability to dissolve uranium, as described in the video. This concoction is allowed to settle, letting the uranium infuse into the solution. Subsequently, the solution enters the solvent extraction phase. The uranium-enriched solution is combined with a solvent that selectively isolates uranium, transferring it to the solvent and leaving the impurities behind. The solvent, now rich with uranium, goes through an ion exchange system, a process known as ion exchange. This system purifies the uranium further and concentrates it. Afterwards, the uranium experiences precipitation. It is precipitated from the solution as a solid, typically using a base like sodium hydroxide. Post-precipitation, the precipitated uranium is subjected to heat in a procedure known as calcination to eliminate any remaining impurities. The uranium then undergoes a conversion process where it's transformed into a form that can be utilized as fuel for nuclear reactors, such as uranium oxide or uranium hexafluoride. This is followed by the enrichment step, where the uranium fuel is enriched to boost the concentration of the fissile isotope, uranium-235, typically using centrifuges or gaseous diffusion. The final stage is fuel fabrication. Here, the enriched uranium is fabricated into fuel pellets, which are then loaded into elongated hollow tubes known as fuel rods. These fuel rods are subsequently used in nuclear reactors to generate electricity. This was a broad overview, and the specifics may differ based on the facility and the type of uranium being extracted. It should also be mentioned that alternative methods, such as in situ leaching, in which the uranium is extracted from the ground without physical mining, can be used. Now that we have an in-depth understanding of how uranium is extracted, let's delve into some of its other uses. While uranium is well known for its use in power plants and nuclear weapons, it has a wide range of other applications. Let's delve into the world of uranium's alternative uses. One of the most beneficial uses is in the medical field. Uranium plays a crucial role in radiation therapy, helping to combat cancer. It's also used in diagnostic imaging procedures like PET scans, providing doctors with the tools they need to make accurate diagnoses. Moving from the hospital to the cosmos, uranium is an essential part of our space exploration efforts. It's used in the production of radioisotope thermoelectric generators, or RTGs, which power spacecraft and satellites. This allows us to explore the vast expanse of space, sending back invaluable data about our universe. Now let's talk about something called depleted uranium. Despite the name, it's anything but useless. Due to its high density and strength, it's used in armor-piercing ammunition and tank armor, providing a robust defense in military operations. In the realm of radiation shielding, uranium's high density and radiation absorbing property make it an ideal material. It's used to protect individuals and equipment from harmful radiation in various settings. Uranium also plays a role in nuclear medicine, contributing to the production of radioisotopes used for diagnostic and therapeutic purposes. Similarly, it's used to sterilize food and extend shelf life through a process known as food irradiation. And it doesn't end there. Uranium is a key player in radiation detection, helping us measure radiation levels with precision. It even has a place in the art world, with uranium oxide used as a colorant in ceramics and glass, creating striking orange and yellow hues. In the aerospace industry, uranium is used in creating high temperature alloys for applications that demand extreme heat resistance. And finally, in the field of scientific research, Uranium is used in various areas, including geology, archaeology, and material science. As we have seen, uranium's versatility extends far beyond its notorious uses, contributing to various industries and scientific research. We've covered a lot of ground today. 
from the extraction process of uranium to its wide-ranging applications. Let's take a moment to revisit what we've learned. The extraction process of uranium involves a series of meticulous steps, from mining and grinding, through to leaching, solvent extraction, ion exchange, precipitation, calcination, conversion, enrichment, and finally, fuel fabrication. The end product? Fuel rods that power nuclear reactors. But that's not all. We also delved into the diverse applications of uranium, beyond its well-known uses. It's a crucial component in medical applications, space exploration, and even food irradiation. It's used in the production of radioisotopes, in the creation of vibrant ceramics and glass, and even in aerospace. The humble uranium atom, it seems, is far more versatile than we might have imagined. Next time you hear about uranium, remember, it's not just for power plants or weapons. It plays a significant role in many areas of our lives.